Good morning, you guys. I didn't want to talk until now because everybody is still sleeping and it almost feels like illegal to be awake right now. Like, honestly, talking, it, this feels illegal right now. Like, it feels too early to talk. You do not know how tempting it was to go back to bed and to just, like, not do this video. Like, to be honest, I was literally, like, contemplating it in bed and I was like, okay, I can either just not do the video today or I can do it and kick myself out of bed pretty much. But I decided to do it because I know that if I didn't get up and do it today, I would not do it tomorrow. Like, I would, like, hate myself for leaving it to do tomorrow rather than doing it today, you know what I mean? Like, I just like getting things done, so we're doing it today, and that was honestly really hard, okay? It's different if, like, you have something to wake up for, to get out of the house for, like, if you have an appointment or whatever it is, it's something that's early that you have to get up for, but when you work from home like I do, and you make your own hours, waking up at five that makes it even harder because it's like I don't need to be up at five right now like I can work any hours I want so it makes it even more difficult to convince my brain to actually wake up you know what I mean anyways so the only thing that I have to get out of the house and do today is I have a COVID test at I can go in between the window of 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. it's for the movie industry so yeah that's like all I have to get out of the house to do today that's like priority to get out so we'll do that later but we still have a lot of freaking time until then i brought you guys into the laundry room because i figured that since i don't know what else to do with myself at this time um it feels weird to do my usual routine with stretching and meditation i feel like i'm too tired for that right now like my body won't be able to do that right now like meditation i would just fall asleep and stretching i guess i can do stretching i'll do that a little later though because right now i just i just feel like sitting down to be honest like i'm i'm really tired i'm definitely gonna take a nap at some point in today anyways i have laundry to fold because i put a load on last night so let's do that as a first morning task i literally don't think i've ever done laundry at 5 a.m in the morning before in my life so this is gonna be in the world record book or something <laughs> All the other people that I saw do this challenge like had coffee right away, but I don't really want to have my coffee right away because I usually like wait a little bit to have that anyways, like waking up at my normal time. So I honestly don't think that I'm going to have it until I go to my COVID test. So I think I'm going to like save it for driving on the way and not have it right now because I feel like having coffee this early is going to make me crash rather than like keep me awake the longest I could stay awake you know what i mean so i'm definitely gonna wait out the coffee and for now i'm just gonna have a lemon water because that's what i usually start my mornings off with anyways so we're gonna do that <laughs> cheers to my 5 a.m lemon water doesn't taste so good at 5 a.m to be honest I feel like I'm in a dream right now. Like, I, I can go back to it so easily. <sighs> oh my god, stay awake, come on. I literally feel so tired. I think it's not even funny. I did go to bed at 10.30. No, I didn't. I went to bed at 11. It wasn't 10.30. That's worse. So, I only got six hours of sleep. Shit, I only got six hours of sleep. That's why I'm so tired. I didn't calculate that right. Literally don't know what to say right now. <laughs> okay, I need to turn this into a productive morning. The thing that I don't get is people that can work out at this time. That's probably the last thing I'll ever do is work out at this time. 8 a.m. is a little different than working out at like 5, 6 a.m. for me. Like, I could do 8 a.m., I guess. I mean, still wouldn't, but I could probably. Working out at this time? Mm -mm. If I work out too early. I feel sick and I just don't have a good workout because I'm lacking the energy So whoever can work out like this early is like last like 
good for you because that's something I cannot do. I'm trying to think of what I should do right now. If I should just start working, if I should do my stretches, definitely not meditation because we know how that's gonna turn out. I'm gonna fall asleep. It's too early to wanna walk because it's literally dark outside. Like that's unsafe for me. Um, I can do the dishes. The dishwasher didn't even go on last night. So that's actually really great, which means I don't need to unload this. I'm gonna do this, like these dishes here though. Okay, so the sun is starting to come up. So I think that I'm gonna take my dog on a walk right now and go on a quick like half an hour to 45 minute walk and just, yeah, I feel like it's gonna be nice because everybody's asleep, you know what I mean? So it's kind of cool going on a walk at this time. So yeah, let's go on a walk at literally the crack of dawn. I still feel so tired, but you know, we're gonna power through and go. Hopefully the walk wakes me up. Let's go. <laughs> So I just got back from the walk and I'm ravenous for food like I am so hungry and while I was on the walk I was dreaming about avocado toast and I was like that would be so good But I didn't think that we have had avocados. I was like, oh shit We probably don't have avocados and I literally look in the fridge and we have like the most avocados I've ever seen in my fridge ever So I'm so happy right now and we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys like my perfect avocado toast recipe Because I feel like I like to make it a certain way. I don't like to make avocado toast like plain and just like bleh, like I like to spice it up. We're gonna make a good a good avocado toast today And I think I'm just gonna make one like a big one. Oh We have good bread too. Oh my god. This is gonna be the best avocado toast ever I usually don't eat breakfast until like 11 or 12 like I usually wait, but I'm so hungry I feel like since it's early my body needs the energy so Oh my god, fresh sourdough. My favorite type of bread to ever live on the planet Earth. Like, so good. And the smell. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a poached egg. I love poached eggs. I don't know why, but they just taste superior on avocado toast. I don't know why, but they do. So I'm gonna boil my water. And I'm also gonna heat up a skillet because I'm gonna toast the bread on the pan instead of toasting it in the toaster and you will see why it's the best method. I'm telling you, toasting bread on here, I add some garlic and butter versus just putting it in the toaster, makes the world of a difference. Yes, this is very intricate, okay? Like I know this takes like way more time than just making your basic avocado toast, but it's so good. Like if I had a restaurant, I can literally charge like 20 bucks for this and people would not think twice about it. Because avocado toast is expensive. Like if you go to a restaurant, it can be up to like 20 bucks at least. Okay, so while these things are heating up, I'm going to get some garlic and butter. So I'm actually using vegan butter. This one is honestly the best one ever. Like it's so good. So I'm just gonna put a bit, let me show you guys the pan more. So I'm just gonna put a bit of butter in the pan and heat it up, let it melt. And then while that is melting, I'm just gonna take like one kind of big clove of garlic and put it in this garlic thing thingamajig where you crush it. And I'm just gonna put this in the pan as well. The smell of garlic and butter together in a pan. Oh my God, like I'm so awake right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my bread and I'm gonna put it on the pan with the garlic and the butter and just put it like right over top to put that sizzle in the bread. And then this is almost boiling. My water is now boiling and I'm gonna add a bit of salt and I'm gonna add like a teaspoon or two of vinegar. So I crack my egg in here. I'm gonna turn the water down and I'm gonna make a whirlpool here and then drop the egg in. I don't know why, but it's, that's how you do it. Set timer for three minutes. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, one more minute for the egg, I'm gonna get the avocado. Oh, this one is literally perfect. Oh my god, I don't think you could get a more perfect avocado. 
Oh, my egg. Okay, so the bread is officially done. I burnt it just a tiny bit, but it's, it's fine. We're still gonna give an exquisite presentation. But I kind of like it like that, so. Anyways, back to this exquisite avocado. Avocado. Okay, so I'm just gonna season the avocado real quick before putting the egg on. I'm gonna put salt, chili flakes, and then I'm gonna put pepper. I'm actually quaking right now because of how good this looks. I'm just gonna put some more chili flakes on the top here. A little bit more pepper. You guys, this is the perfect avocado toast. Holy shit. I'm so excited to eat this. And can we just like take another look at this perfect avocado? Holy shit. Anyways, let's eat because I'm so hungry. Okay, bon appetit. Oh my God. The eggs are cooked to perfection. You will not believe this. Literally. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I honestly have no words for this right now. Okay, you guys, I'm on the way to get COVID tested, and I would be lying to you if I didn't say that I took like a 25 minute nap. <laughs> I think the last thing you saw was like me making breakfast, and I was just like, holy shit, like I need to take a nap before driving because the drive is kind of long. It's like half an hour ish. So I was like, I need to take a nap or else I'm gonna be falling asleep on the road because I was exhausted. And that power nap just really did it for me. I find that like 20 minute naps are the perfect medium for me and it just like rejuvenates me like completely so i just made a coffee and i'm just gonna put the address on my gps and then get going this coffee is so good um this is gonna definitely help wake me up i have a love-hate relationship with coffee where like i love coffee but i don't let myself drink more than one cup a day because i don't want to get like too addicted to it and i don't want my body to rely on it i don't want to need coffee i want coffee to need me no i'm kidding but like actually like i just don't want to become too dependent on it and also that's why i have it kind of like later or at a different time every day so that my body doesn't get adjusted to the time that i have it either so yeah let's get going this is my fit i'm wearing these sweatpants from h&m my all-time favorite like sweatpants h&m my tank top was from garage and then this sweater is from h&m hey guys so i just got covid tested literally like 20 minutes ago and i'm currently at walmart because i have a few things to grab and i really have to piss so i'm gonna run in and piss right away and then shop because i need some cream some micellar water okay let's go i'm literally gonna freaking piss my pants i haven't finished this because like i don't want to make myself pee more so it's kind of a struggle right now I am such a browser like I almost like can't come to stores alone because like I'll spend all day just like walking around looking at the fancy stuff like it's actually bad like it's not it's not good it's really not good but you know what we're just out here living life but I gotta get home and start my work um so I should really get home because I got the shit that I needed so let's go home Joel you'd be proud of me for leaving right now because whenever me and Joel go together he always like grabs me because he hates whenever else so You'd be proud of me right now, I'm leaving. So I didn't do like an outro for this video explaining like my last thoughts, my last words. So I'm going to do that right now. Would I ever do this again out of my own will? No, 
I don't think that it benefited me a lot because I was just so exhausted when I woke up, first of all. Second of all, waking up at 5 a.m., you would have to go to bed super early. So it kind of cuts into the same times anyways. And third of all, I just felt like I was almost less productive because I was so tired and I had to nap. And usually I'm fine without taking a nap, waking up at my normal time. I can do it, like let's say if I had a job that required me waking up at 5 a.m. or earlier, I can do it for that. If it's a priority that I need to be up at that time, then I would have to make things work. With that being said, I do make my own hours. Therefore, I think that for me, it is pointless and I will never be doing this out of my own will again because I love my sleep and being exhausted really has a huge impact on how my productiveness is throughout the day. I didn't even get my meditation done. I didn't even do my stretching that day because I just felt too exhausted to. Towards the end of the day, I just started getting really tired and I went to bed super early that night. So yeah, overall, I would not do this again. It was fun to try it out, but I wouldn't do it again out of my own will just because I have the luxury of making my own hours, so it's not worth it to me. But I know everyone's different and I just love my sleep. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.